Libra. Welcome to your angel reading. Of course, I have the angel tarot, the crystal mandala oracle, and the angelic oracle. Let's get these messages from our angels. Cleanse your energy. Cleanse my space and energy after being out and about today. I hope everyone had a good Monday. And tomorrow is going to be a great day. It already is. Yes. Okay. Let's start with the Angel Tarot. We do have the Ace of Swords. Affinity and friendship obtains the friendship of anyone. God above all names elevated. To the Eight of Wands, the great and exalted God. Grandeur makes one passionate toward God. Wow. The Four of Pentacles. God sung above all. Loyalty and allegiance. Friendship and reconciliation. Friendship and God. So maybe a lot of you are just coming to having a friendship with the Most High. Oof. I have big chills and that's really deep. Wow. Ace of Pentacles here. The adored God, divine blessings, drives away evil spirits, rules agricultural production, drives away evil spirits, yes, and divine blessings, yes, and that's where we're starting, Libra, at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Pentacles, let's go. What would the angels like Libra to be aware of? What would the Most High and the angels? Wow, first one out, Metatron. First one out, the Wheel of Fortune, Metatron, the recording angel. Advancements and progress. Teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. Wow. And it came out with? The Ace of Pentacles, again, Libra, divine blessings, drives away evil spirits, rules agricultural production. For those of you, that's a confirmation for those of you that want to, you know, start growing your own food and you've been thinking about that and so on and so forth. That's a yes. Look at, it was like my halo. Do you see that? And I was in my halo. <laughs> no, it's kind of like a ring light thing. <laughs> okay, anyways. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Pentacles. Let me just, let's just take that in for a whole hot second, Libra. Your spirit team, your ancestors, your loved ones, your angels have continually driven away evil eye from you, have continually driven away evil spirits, people with dark intentions and their dark magic that was sent towards you. And I was going to say what's so weird that it came out with the recording angel Metatron and it's like all is seen and recorded in the book of life. It says, teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. With this Ace of Pentacles, I wanted to say, like, all is seen. God sees all. You're being blessed. Divinely blessed. Wow. Judgment at the bottom. Atonement of errors. 
destroys the see destroys the power of enemies and humiliates them dang the judgment angel god hidden in darkness ooh wee wow it's like the most high has had enough This is so powerful. In the beginning of the reading, it just kept talking about friendship and then God, God and friendship. And I'm like, okay, God is showing up as your friend, Libra. And maybe some of you are finally coming to terms with that. Like... Everyone has their own beliefs, but whatever you call your most high power, you know, at least the one I believe in wants, you know, the best, the absolute best. And they, they know your heart, he or she, whatever you call God. It's really a uh, omni presence, the all seeing, you know, like, but truly. You're really blessed. You're about to be really blessed and judgment is raining down on your enemies and they're going to feel humiliated. And that's just the way it is. Wow. Shout out to Tupac. I was just playing him in the car. And now I'm hearing. And that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. And that's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. Dang. And I wasn't listening to that song. I was listening to Live in, in L.A. To live in NLA, it's the place to be. You've got to be there to know it. Everybody, yes. Hey, wow. Oh, wow. Somebody just touched the hair on my face, unless there's a spider crawling on me. OMG. No, that was, that was a piece of hair. I sure hope so. No, there's no spider crawling on me. Whew. Wow. The Seven of Cups. Contemplation, make the truth known in legal proceedings. With the Six of Swords, perception of unity protects against accidents and heals the sick. Let's clarify. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Seven of Wands. Liberation. Deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. Yep. With the Four of Wands at the bottom. Rectification helps one live in peace with everyone. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Divine blessings and driving away evil spirits and agricultural production. That's too many. We do have the Six of Pentacles. Just one card to clarify the Ace of Pentacles, please. The Ten of Swords. Revelation protects from sadness, gives revelations in dreams.
you know, I know everyone's on a different path and journey, but it's kind of like you've, you come to a point in life where you're so thankful and so thankful and grateful for your blessed life and the things you do have and the people in your life, your loved ones that are still here and the ones that look, you know, the only ones that look down on, uh, down on us are the ones in spirit. You know what I mean? Facts. You're going to be so, you're going to feel so divinely blessed. It's going to make you emotional. Because within this divine blessing, Libra, that's happening now or very soon, because it came up in the uh, very near future position, okay, as the second card out and the third card out is the sort of future, future. That's the seven of cups. We haven't got to clarify that yet, but clarifying the near future with revelation and protects from sadness and gives revelation in dreams. It's like you're being double protected and you're also going to be given a heads up. This also is reminding me of like the third eye. Okay. Revelation in dream Libra. Seven of Cups, please. For the future. The Three of Swords. Love and submission cures illness, influences paternal love, and gives long life. Interesting. With the Nine of Cups at the bottom, God, the kindest giver, healing, Preserves health and cures diseases. Wow. Do you know? Oh, I have chills. Oh, I have big chills. Do you know what I just heard? Nostradamus was not only a prof, a prophesizer, not only was he given revelation, but he was immune to the plague. He was immune to these plagues that would sweep through, you know, the communities back then. And he was a healer and a medicine man, a doctor. That's what's coming into play in the near future and then into the future future. It's like you're going to become more, you're going to take on more of a, a healer, authority. Yeah, healing preserves health and cures diseases. Nine of Cups at the bottom. Wow. Okay. I did want to show you guys the Angel of Justice here. Was at the bottom of the deck after the pre-shuffle of the Angelic Oracle. So let's see. I'm hearing two Angelic Oracle cards. Okay. Libra. Thank you so much, angels. Libra. Ooh, I just heard something move to the right of me and my nose twitched. Wow. This is a card of union, 
of blessed union. Moses at the bottom. With an angel. Who is this telling him to go this way? This is how I feel you're going to be guided, Libra. Look at this, okay? You're going to guide not only yourself, but others. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, this is wild. This is kind of freaking me out. Okay. Okay. 18. And some of you, it's going to be you and your person. You and this person in this divine union. And some of you, it's going to be solo dolo or you'll find others like you like yourself okay other healers shamans leaders okay 18 let me see what this says wow this is wild Ooh. okay this card shows a traveler and an angel who is pointing at something that lies ahead on the traveler's path. Okay. This is prudence. That typical quality of the elderly, which prepares us to face up to the inevitable obstacles in life, which makes us foresee their arrival and urges us to advance with caution and unhurriedly while holding on to the staff of wisdom. Yeah, that staff, Moses, and that's why you reminded me of Moses with the staff. The angel of prudence, who wears clothes with earth colors, speaks to us through the words of those who are older than us and love us dearly. Oh my gosh, Libra, again, this is such a huge blessing. You're going to be shown the way in this near future. Before I read uh, about this divine union card or marriage card, let's get one more. One more angelic message for Libra. This oracle, please. What else would you like, Libra, to know? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. 18, 18 on the clock. So I just read about number 18 while I was saying the angels are gonna show you show you the way, okay? But prudence is also about, you know, being smart. Not being a prude, but be smart with these with this blessing and this wealth that is coming because your second angelic oracle card out is like the angel of wealth, corn not the angel of wealth, it's like cornucopia. Let me see here. You got number six and number ten. The angel of fortune. Okay. Wow, so not only did you get the Angel of Fortune Oracle card, your first tarot card out, Libra, was the Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Pentacles. And this is Metatron. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, we're going to read number six, and then we'll get back to the Angel of Fortune. This is the Angel of Love. A blue angel guards over a married couple. Her hands seem to want to keep them together and protected. The angel of love represents that energy that brings together two hearts and two minds. The force of gravity that attracts and binds two bodies and two souls. She provides a strong protection for couples beautiful Libra whether you're in a relationship now or will be soon this is your divine person I believe 
and if you you know feel this is right and you guys are protected for sure the angels are protecting your connection in the angel of fortune this delightful angel pours abundant riches from his horn of plenty and smiles his robe is green like leaves and his mantle is red like fire his active and terrestrial energy this is the angel of fortune that unexpected gift from destiny that may improve our lives whether we receive material or spiritual riches gold represents the purity of the spirit and the gifts of mother earth we must learn to grasp them when the time is right enhance them and allow their value to grow bless libra oh my gosh you guys so blessed i feel way up i've been blessed that's what i'm hearing <gasps> oh my gosh look what's back at the bottom libra oh my goodness oh my goodness double confirmation you're gonna be leading the way here libra it's the angels leading the way they're guiding your way and you're gonna be a leader here okay who i got big chills and it makes me emotional again okay Thank you so much, angels. Thank you so much, God, most high. Bless you all, Libra. To my beautiful people out there, you truly support, my, you know, Libra land. You truly support my channel. You help support me. And thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Way up, I feel blessed. Yep. That's what I'm hearing. Libra. Safe to be seen. It's safe for you to be seen. Be exactly who you are. No need to hide your abilities and gifts anymore, okay? That's what I'm hearing from the angels. Just one. She shall always prevail. Goddess Isis and Isis crystal just jumped into my hand. And what fell on the table, there's too many, but I'm going to take the top card. Grace for the grand gesture. Archangel Raphael and Malachite. Whew. Well, we got two original self at the bottom all right goddess isis is here we have 888 and 444 number 51 wow look at these mirror numbers goddess isis number 51 grace for the grand gesture number 15 51, 15, mirror numbers, wow. We have to see what that means at the end. I'll open up my laptop, 51, 15. She shall always prevail. We bring you the empowerment of she shall always prevail. 
There is something magnificent in the human spirit when one chooses to believe in oneself. Life rallies to strengthen and encourage it. It is the expression of will to live, not from a place of fear of death, but of a brave, divinely defiant boldness that refuses to give up on what matters most. You have had your share of heartbreak and disappointments, and yet, rather than bitterness in your heart, you choose love. You have your moments of doubt and despair, and yet, deep in your heart, you choose to continue on. You have the spirit of Isis in you, and just like the universal mother expressing herself through Isis, you too shall prevail. Wow, Libra. Sometimes we just need to know that everything is going to be okay. No matter how impossible the odds may seem, if we know that it's going to work out somehow, we will keep going. We might not have any clue how it is going to work out, but if we trust the divine, it will be a matter of curiosity rather than uncertainty that we hold towards our future. In the ancient Egyptian mystery traditions of the goddess Isis, it is said she had to endure many trials. She faced heartbreak and devastating loss many times over. Her response to this was to continue evolving, using all of her power, strength, wisdom, and wit to conquer every obstacle. Her motivation was love, and although she could have given in to hate or despair, she did not. Those of you that have ever been asked to give up something or someone you truly loved in order to take your spiritual journey are being initiated into the mystery school of Isis. And when it, it means like give up something or someone, that something could be a toxic work environment or some type of habit. And that someone could be a toxic person or relationship, okay, that you knew you deserved better and you gave up. That's what I, that's what they mean, okay? No other way. Okay. She will guide and empower you to become fearless. You won't be immune to pain, nor will you be conquered by doubt. If anything or anyone tries to stop you from succeeding, you shall pick up the gauntlet and win. Nothing will defeat you. Isis teaches us that holding love in our hearts and refusing to allow bitterness or hatred to overcome us, or at least not for long, is the way to stay powerful and radiant on the path of life. Even amongst some of the most difficult times, she is the spiritual embodiment of the saying, living well is the best revenge. Isis loves herself and loves life. She never puts herself down or judges herself. She doesn't take the actions of others personally, not even those of whom actively seek to harm her. She believes in her ability to do what she needs to do and gets on with it. This spirit of Isis that speaks to you now through this oracle, which lives in you as your fighting spirit and sacred warrior, is urging you to never give up. She brings you guidance that you shall prevail, that love always wins. If you see darkness in the world and those that appear to be less deserving, winning above others who have more virtue, do not become disheartened. The universe is love and karma is clever. Everything is working out according to a higher plan 
and you don't have to control a thing for the perfect balance of divine mercy and divine judgment to be expressed. Isis isn't interested in revenge and nor do you need to be. She needs all her energy to create the beautiful healing of reality to bring blessings to the world in which she lives. You can choose to do the same. Anything less is not worthy of your beautiful soul and wild spirit. Wow, Libra. Fifteen. Grace for the grand gesture. We bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for the leap of faith, the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the universe to gift you with a new future. The grand gesture is the big step, the willingness to say to the universe, I trust you and I know it is time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience and I am willing to allow you to lead me into it. You then make an offering which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. If it comes from a place of should or uncertainty, then you're not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. It must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, although the rewards will be rich, but because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service to love. When it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for divine grace to express itself in your life in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. The grand gesture doesn't have to be anything super grand. It's literally, you can volunteer somewhere, give some of your time and your energy if you don't want, you know, or you can donate financially if you don't have the time or energy, but you may have some funds to donate to one of your favorite charities, you know, that's what they're asking here, you know, um, but it's not feeling like you have to, but it's doing it because you want to. And yeah, that's what it's about. There's a time in life for small steps. There can be, they can be very powerful and trigger an outflow of enormous compassion from the universe. See, small steps, as they generate opportunities and connections to encourage you to continue building upon those first steps with greater strides. Then there are times when you are ready to show up for your life journey in ways that brooks no opposition. You will not be deterred. You have made a decision deep within and you're absolutely willing without hesitation or doubt to say to the universe, this is my next move. Do your best. You are in the most loving way possible, throwing down the gauntlet to life. Wow. That's interesting. We've heard that term twice. And allowing the universe to respond. Because you understand divine love, you know that what is offered from a place of loving devotion is always a safe bet, no matter how wild the risk may seem to be to the mind. If you have made leaps in the past and landed flat on your face rather than gracefully on your feet, leave that behind you now. Everything you have experienced in your life has led you towards this moment in time. You are not the same person you were before. You are stronger, wiser, and more ready for the beautiful adventure life has in store for you. You have an opportunity at this time to take a leap of faith 
and the universe is urging you ahead. You may feel afraid or uncertain if you listen to your mind. Give some love to your mind. It might need your comfort and reassurance. Then listen to your heart and make your grand gesture with full faith in the grace that surrounds you now. And ooh-wee, is that true, Libra? Wow. I'm always, I'm, I'm pretty much always blown away by these angel readings. Some are more powerful than others, but I was not expecting any of this. And it was so beautiful throughout this entire reading. Let's see what the angel mirror numbers 5115 mean. Just a second. Okay, we're back, Libra. Angel number 5115 meaning? Your life to provide you with new opportunities and chances to become a better person. 5115 is indicative of success and luck in the future. They send a message of flexibility to the person, telling them they're not far from achieving success. Most definitely not, Libra. You have the angel of fortune and the wheel of fortune twice. You have the most high coming through as a friend sending the avenging angels on your enemies to embarrass them for coming against you. <laughs> Comment below. They, they never should have messed with me. They never should have messed with a Libra. <laughs> Divine justice is now throwing down. What, what was the term? The gauntlet? Jeez. Let me... Look that up really quick. I think I know what that is, but let's see. Yeah, a, an armored glove as worn by a medieval knight. It's like the iron fist in the velvet glove. That is Libra. I truly hope you enjoyed this reading, Libra. Prepare for your future as a leader. You are so divinely blessed. It may scare you. It may frighten you at first. But just know uh, you will be right where you need to be when you are needed to be there. Okay, Libra? Wow. That was just an ending channeled message from the angels. Thank you, angels. Thank you, Most High. Thank you, Libra Land. Stay balanced. Stay blessed. Peace, everyone. <laughs>